Towards the end of April, the Longines FEI Jumping Nations Cup of Slovakia was held in the countryside close to the town of Chamorin. It heralded the start of the European Division I series, consisting of eight legs and culminating with the final in Barcelona. The setting at the Exbionic Sphere's 380,000 square meter equestrian facility, situated on the banks of the River Danube, was stunning. The complex boasts a 1.6 kilometer galloping track, 680 permanent stalls, a grass stadium arena, and a sand arena. The perfect scenario for the 600 horses present for the various top class competitions. The man responsible for getting this show on the road was event director Dennis Monticolo. Our main goal is to make this venue know worldwide. It's a big challenge. We feel really proud to us this first European leg of the Nations Cup. Tomorrow is going to be a big uh, event, a big battle, and uh, everybody will support this team. I'm Italian, so I have Italy here, so I have my team, and uh, I think it's going to be a big show. We have really top event, top riders, top teams, and top horses, and we will have a, a great moment of sport. Here in Chamorin, seven of the eight competing countries were searching for coveted qualification points for Barcelona. Belgium, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland were all in the frame, with the Brazilians invited as a non-scoring team. The Swiss have a rider who gives the Nations Cup high priority when planning his event schedule. For 2012 Olympic champion Steve Gadat, the competition is paramount for the sport. I don't look at it just on the short terms. Uh, I like to see more the big picture and I think that if I look back of the history of my sport and if I look forward to what I hope my sport is going to be in a few years, uh, it's only by supporting these classes that uh, we're going to stay in the Olympic Games and this is what I want and this is why for me um, there is no question the Nations Cup will always have priority on every other show. And this is the perfect scenario for the Swiss chef to keep Andy Kistler, especially at the start of the series. He is our role model. He is always there for the nation. He is always there for the Nations Cup. And therefore, I always have a super base. We have five strong couples here, but also the others are strong. And, uh, but tomorrow, we hope the best and we hope we can deliver enough clears and then uh, it will give a good ranking. I think this is the strongest team we, we ever had, if we can keep all riders and horses sound. Um, looking forward to try on, I think it's very exciting and I hope we'll have our top four there and if we do, I think uh, we're going to be able to, to do something really good. By the end of the weekend, both Steve and Andy's hopes for the competition had been realised. In round one, Mouf Werner, Martin Fuchs and Steve all had clears putting the Swiss team in first spot ahead of the Italians, the Brazilians and the Irish. In the second round, both Werner and Paul Esterman had a rail down, with the latter also adding a time fault to keep the competition in the balance. As a packed crowd absorbed the tension, Martin Fuchs riding his bay Chaplin then put pressure on Switzerland's nearest rivals by going clear. Both Ireland and Belgium had accumulated eight faults by the time their teams finished, which handed the win to Switzerland, without fourth to go Steve Gerdat having to jump. Chef de Keep Andy Kistler felt privileged to be part of Switzerland's victory. It's unbelievable, especially I'm not riding, I'm, I'm only a real small part of the team and I, I have the honour to stand with my team and even in the middle of the team and they uh, take me in the team, which is, uh, yeah, something really, really special. The event in Chamorin was a huge success thanks to the organization and the top class athletes who contributed to a thrilling start to this year's Nations Cup competition.